Hey, Miss Jennifer's first graders. Um, I'm so happy to be teaching you this lesson. And it's going to be all about line because line is one of the foundations for everything in art. It's the foundation for shape and pattern and architecture when it comes to buildings and even sculpture. And so here, and this is also um, posted on your Word document, I have drawn out different kinds of lines. So some loopy ones, one at a diagonal axis, some vertical ones, some curved ones, a dashed line, and the zigzagged and a longer curvilinear line. And what we're calling this project is Crazy Hair Day. And it was inspired because um, this summer I've had a lot of crazy hair days because I haven't been going out much. And it's a fun and good way to explore the art element of line. So what you're going to do is in pencil first, um, you're going to draw your face. And I would orient your paper horizontally or landscape. That way you have room on the sides of your paper to explore your crazy hair and above. And then you have also room to draw your neck and your shoulders. And if you want to put a shirt or some kind of accessory there, that's fine too, okay? Now here's the deal. Um, this is a black and white assignment. So you can start in pencil and then follow with um, a marker or a crayon or um, whatever you have at home or a pen. I am going to demo just with the marker just so I can make sure that you can see what I'm doing. So the first place I'm going to start is the shape of the head. And some of you might have a more round face, some of you more an oval face, some of you a heart-shaped face with high cheekbones and a small chin. So look in your mirror if you have one available and determine you know what shape face you have and then when i draw a face i usually start at the crown of the head work my way to the chin and then match up that other line so i can have it symmetrical okay so here we are and i'm going to leave room at the top and the bottom of my paper so i can do the neck and shoulders and so i can do the top of my hair so I am right here now, the crown of my head, I'm coming down to my chin. Let me get that a little higher, okay? Now I'm gonna get this side to kind of match up with that, all right? And sometimes it's even easier if you turn your paper upside down to get your lines to match. So I'm gonna try that. And then I'm gonna turn it back over. And here I have the shape of my face. And then I'm gonna come down and just do my neck. And you wanna kind of make that line curvy and then Stretch out for your shoulders. And that is your, um, that's your basic outline. And just to review proportions, if you go from the crown of your head to your eye line, it's almost halfway down your face, almost halfway down. So, um, Let me come here. I'm just going to do a faint dotted line to keep myself on track. And then I'm going to do a faint dotted line to divide my face in half this way. Okay. Then I'm going to start with my eyes, my nose, and my mouth. So I want part of my eye above that dotted line. I'm gonna do them at the same time so I can kind of keep them at the same shape and scale. And let me do that a marker because y'all can't see that. So that's above my dotted line. Then I wanna put the other half below it. Then I wanna put my eyelid
and then my iris, and then pupil. Okay, then I'm gonna come down about two thirds and I'm gonna do the bottom part of my nose. So the nostril and this dip. So something like that. And then I'm gonna do my mouth. So we want an upper lip and a bottom lip. And then if you want to show your ears, those are gonna be between, um, if you take your pointer to the corner of your eye, take your thumb to the corner of your mouth and your ear is gonna fall in that plane somewhere, okay? So I'm gonna do one after the other. So here's one, here's my other. And then I get to start on my hair. So I'm remembering my lines and you can keep part of this looking like your own hair and you can make other parts of it not look like your own hair. So I think what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna do it different from here. I'm gonna use these loopy lines for my bangs. And then I'm going to use some of these straight vertical lines going up and down right here. Right, because it's crazy here today, and we want this to be creative. Then I'm going to use some zigzagged lines. All right, then I could use some of my curved lines. Mm -hmm. And then if I want to put some space buns also on there, I could, let's see, maybe up here at the top, and I could do like a spiraling line coming in. And then the other thing that I want y'all to consider is positive to negative shapes. So what I mean by that is black to white relationships or what is solid and what is um, see-through. So if I put my arms like this, the positive space is my arm and the negative space is that triangle, right? Because the um, nothing is, well, there is something behind there, that cabinet, but. So you can thicken some of your lines. and you can fill those in. You know, with crayon or marker, and again, you can do this whole thing in pencil first. And be expressive. So, um, so I'm gonna put glasses, and before I put glasses, if I want to put eyebrows, I can exaggerate those or turn those into different types of line too. So I might do this zigzagged line for one and then my loopy one for another, okay? And I can thicken some of these out and fill those in. And the point of this assignment, kids, is to um, is to try to practice drawing your face and exploring with different types of line. So be expressive, be creative, and what I need from you is your the title of the project, Crazy Hair, and you can get your grown up to help you write this and um, your first and last name, okay? All right, um, have fun with this project and I posted it online. So you've got these handouts on your computer screen and also my example, okay?
We'll look for you for the next art project. And you've got um, about two weeks to complete this. All right. Thanks for paying attention. Bye.